Welcome to the scanning and enumeration section of this course. It is actually now 2021 when we're recording this and we're doing some light updating on how we go about starting off this lab in this section. So we're going to be using a vulnerable machine called Keoptrix. If you go to Google, you can type in Keoptrix and find it fairly easy. So you go to Keoptrix like this, K-I-O-P-T-R-I-X. And we're going to be using level one. I'm showing you the source of where it's coming from, but we're actually going to provide this VM just to avoid any sort of confusion. So Keoptrix level one here comes from a website called Volnhub. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So you see Volnhub here. Volnhub is a great website and great resource once you kind of get into hacking and, and learning about this, um, where you could come to Volnhub and just download a vulnerable machine, run it on VMware or VirtualBox or however you want, and try to attack it. And you can see they have difficulty easy, intermediate. You can come through here and just have fun playing with vulnerable machines. And that's all Keoptrix is. It's a beginner level vulnerable machine that you can download, install, and run. Now the download and the install, you can see this is from 2010. Some of the stuff was broken, um, sometimes a little bit difficult to get running in the original lab. So we're just modifying this a bit to make it easier. What we've done on our end is just hosted a file that will work, that will should by default install and run. Uh, so if you go to your browser and you just go to tcm-sec.com like this, and you type in forward slash Keoptrix, K-I-O-P-T-R-I-X, pause for a second, make sure you see this, and then you just hit enter. You'll be brought to a Google Drive. Okay, and this Google Drive here should say Keoptrix. You should have an OVF and an OVA file. All you need here is the OVA. Um, and all you'll have to do is just hit download right here, get the download going. I believe this is around 250 megabytes, so it might take a minute. Go ahead, download it, pause, and then come back when you're ready to continue. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna show you how to install this on VMware and on VirtualBox. These are the only two supported methods that we're gonna utilize in the course. If you're going and you're using something like uh, VMware Horizon, or you're using a different type of virtualization software, that's fine, but we can't support it if you run into any issues. So we strongly, strongly recommend using VMware. If you're using VirtualBox, that's fine as well. Um, but we're going to be doing most of the course in VMware, though it should not matter too much. So here is VMware. I'm going to show you first how to install it here, and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing in VirtualBox. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to player up here or we can go to home actually and we can just say open a virtual machine and then just go ahead and navigate to the area where you downloaded it okay so here's my file keoptrix level one i'm going to say open i'm going to go ahead and just um, save this here so i'm going to say this is where do you want to save your storage path i'm saving it here call it keoptrix level one import the defaults are fine you might get an error right here. That's okay too. Just hit retry and it should work fine. It's going to take a second to import. While we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and also do the same thing with VirtualBox. So I'm going to get VirtualBox going. And what we'll do here is a similar process. So we'll go to import and then we'll just select the area for our file. Okay. And mine again is just sitting here on this drive, keoptrix level one.oba. I'll hit next. And then it's going to ask me some questions here. We're just going to hit next on this. We'll go ahead and set these up in a second. So I'm just going to say import and that'll be fine. All right. So looking at the settings for both of these machines, I'm going to go ahead and drag this over here. We can just right click and go to settings. Um, same thing here. You can right click and go to settings and we're going to set these up the same. So either way. Um, on 512 megabytes, this is fine. Honestly, if you wanted to kick this down to 256, you could. Uh, I would not recommend going any lower than 256, though, oops, I did not mean to exit that. Um, though, I will say that if you have, I wouldn't go lower than 256. We're just going to be running this in the background, um, but you don't need to go higher either. So 256, I think is fine. If you want to give a 512, that's fine too, depending on the amount of RAM that you have on your actual machine. Uh, so 256 is good. And then here in the network adapter, we're going to switch to NAT. Okay, so make sure you're good there and just hit okay. 
and that should be it same thing here so if you want to switch the storage you can or the the amount of ram allocated you can uh, only big thing here is just going into the network and you can see that it says nat network and that's exactly what we want okay so this box is set up just fine um, and then all you have to do on these is just hit play okay all you got to do is power it on you could just say start here um, and I could just hit play here and both will start um, all we're going to do is just let this run so that's all you want to do at this point you're just going to let it run um, you can see I've got both machines booting you will come to a login screen and that's when you know that this is ready okay uh, so when you're at the login screen it'll say hey Keoptrix blah 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 and then we're going to take it from there and we're going to figure out how we can uh, get into this machine okay so if you get a screen like this you can just say do nothing um, and just let this keep booting but other than that once this runs to a login uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next video so you see this once you're at the login screen you are good to go all right and that is it so i will catch you over in the next video as we walk through how to find this machine and then we're going to start scanning it and tacking it and hopefully rooting it so i'll catch you over in the next video